Today on Bernadette TV, are you missing out on opportunities? Hello and welcome to Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. And often on Bernadette TV, you ask a question and I give an answer, but today I have a question for you. Are you missing out on opportunities? So, a funny thing happened on the way to the studio. I must admit, this story doesn't present me in a very good life, but I am so committed to all of our learning that I feel compelled to share it with you. So, I was looking for a parking space and lo and behold, a spot opened up. But the thing was, it wasn't the perfect spot. It was close to where I wanted to park, but it wasn't close enough. So the thought I had, and this was the exact thought I had was, okay, that looks good, but it's not quite perfect. So I'm gonna go on a little bit longer and see if I can find a better spot. After all, I could always come back to this one if I can't find one. And so you can probably guess what happened next. Sure enough, I drove up to the place where I wanted to park. There was no parking. So as I turned my car around to go back to the first spot I'd seen, what do I see? Someone else pulling into my spot. Now, I know this makes me look like an Egypt, but I'm willing to share it because I think there's something that we can all learn from in this. You see, I think this is a great example of where we stop ourselves. Specifically in business, I see people passing up opportunities day after day using the same logic that I applied to the parking space. So let's say, for example, that you want to grow your business and an opportunity presents itself. Maybe it's an opportunity to work with a mentor who's getting the results that you want. Maybe it's an opportunity to partner with an amazing person who can really help grow your business. Maybe it's that you could hire someone or move into a new location. Or maybe it's something that you can invest in that's gonna grow your business. Now, because I coach people in businesses, over and over, I see people do this. They say, oh, that looks good, but maybe there's something better out there and I can always come back to this later. But the trouble is, you can't. Once the opportunity is gone, it's gone. Once the moment is passed, the opportunity is over. If you're telling yourself, I'll wait and see, I can always do this later, you're deluding yourself. And here's why. Most opportunities require us to step up in some way. I say we've got to put our big girl panties on, take a deep breath and just go for it. To grow my own business to a multi-million dollar business, I have had to do this over and over and over. And if you ask any successful entrepreneur, they will tell you that they've had to do the same. So with every opportunity that comes along, we're either learning to take a deep breath and go for it, or we're learning to shrink. The question is, what's your habit? What's the thing that you're doing over and over? There is a quote from Mark Victor Hansen, which sums this up perfectly. Don't wait until everything is just right. It will never be perfect. There will always be challenges, obstacles, and less than perfect conditions. So what? Get started now. With each step you take, you will grow stronger and stronger, more and more skilled, more and more self-confident, and more and more successful. Know that whatever you want to do, there will never be the perfect moment. But if life has presented you with this opportunity, then you're ready, so go for it. So now it's over to you. I really wanna know how you've been affected by this week's episode. Has it helped you see that there's been something that you've been hesitating about saying yes to and you're really ready? Are you someone who takes a deep breath and gulps and goes for it when you see an opportunity? Or have you been shrinking and now you recognise that it's time to step up? Whatever your situation, I want to hear from you. So please come on over to my blog, BernadetteDoyle.com, and let's continue the conversation. I want to hear how this has impacted you. That's all for this week, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV. Of course, the other thing that is the flip side of what we've just been talking about is that... Sometimes you can stay too long in the parking spot. That's when you over the meter and you get a ticket and you get a fine. So there is that to consider as well.